Hello, this is Chad Griffith, and this video tutorial is meant to help Eastern's teachers to log in to their online classrooms for the purpose of being able to post their Blizzard packs. The first step is to go to Eastern's webpage at www.easternlocal.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click on CMS Login. The teacher can log in with their school email address. In this case, I will be impersonating Mr. Spencer. So I'm going to be J Spencer at easternlocal.net. And I will put in his secret password. Now, teachers who do not yet have online classrooms will have them after they click here for online classroom. It will create the classroom automatically. So I'm going to click online classroom. And here is Mr. Spencer's own online classroom. This doesn't appear to have any content on it, which means he hasn't been here before. And that shouldn't present a problem. If a teacher has been to the online classroom before, then the teacher just needs to add content. But in this case, there is nothing, so we can just create his first page by clicking here with Add New Page. The page needs a name, and in this case, we need the, teach the parents and students to be able to find the Blizzard Bags. So I'm going to call this Blizzard Bag, and click Save Page. That's it. Now Mr. Spencer will have a page in his online classroom called Blizzard Bag. I'm going to click on Blizzard Bag to go to that new page. Now, in the available window, Mr. Spencer has the ability to give his assignment. And I'll just type some content here. This is Mr. Spencer's Blizzard Bag assignment and save the page. That is now available and the public can get to it by simply following from the middle school page to Mr. Spencer's online classroom. If, however, he has a, uh, a file such as a Microsoft Word document or maybe a PowerPoint that he needs to upload, he can also do that from here and I will go ahead and do that next. If a teacher doesn't have any additional materials to upload, then just typing the assignment or copying and pasting it here should be sufficient. Alright, we'll presume for a moment that Mr. Spencer has a file saved on his computer and wants to upload it to this page. We could go ahead and click on the hyperlink here. It looks like a little chain. Once we click on it, we have the opportunity to browse or upload, and that's what we need to do. So we're going to go find the file to upload. And files, upload, and we need to go find that file. I happen to know that it is on the desktop. And right here on the desktop is the file named Mr. Spencer's Blizzard, ba Blizzard Bag Day 1. Double-clicked on it. Here it is. It has created a link, and I'm clicking OK. Now, this link should go to the, uh, the file that he has uploaded. So he could say above it, follow the link below to get to the Blizzard bag. So I'm going to save the page. Page content saved successfully. That looks good. So let's go back to Eastern's web page and start from the beginning and see if a parent could find Mr. Spencer's new page. www.easternlocal.com Middle School Online Classrooms Jared Spencer blizzard bag and when we follow the link it downloads the word document or Mr. Spencer could just as easily have placed the content right on the page so 
great success. Please let me know if you have any problems and I will try to help you one-on-one. -on -one.